Hi, this is Pat Fiorello, and I'm here in my studio in Atlanta and wanted to share some information with you about creating color charts as a way to learn more about mixing oil paints. Uh, this month I did a study of many of my different paints and got to know them better by doing color charts. Um, I learned about these charts through the book uh, A La Prima by Richard Schmidt. And all month long I have been posting on my blog the learnings and observations I've had from doing these color charts, which have been very helpful. Um, today is the last day and I wanted to wrap up with a little video segment so you could see exactly how to go about making these color charts if you want to do them yourself. So here's an example of one chart that I did and the idea of the exercise is maybe to take about 10 or 12 of the colors that you use most often and to um, learn how they mix with each other and also mix with white to create various values. So this happens to be a, a color chart here for yellow ochre pale and the way to make the chart is the first box on the top is the pure yellow ochre pale right out of the tube and then you mix that with some white and then even more white and more white and more white to pull out four other values beyond the, the color that's in the tube. Um, I found the easiest way to do these lightest values which are on the bottom is to start with white and add a touch of the color into that rather than trying to add enough white to uh, lighten that up sufficiently. But the idea is to understand how to get a value range with that color. So then we go on and mix that color, yellow ochre pale, with all the other colors in our study. So the next one here is cadmium yellow, uh, cadmium lemon, excuse me. And then, so this is the yellow ochre pale with cadmium lemon. And then we take that mixture and add it to increasing amounts of white to get a range. Then we move on and take yellow ochre pale and add it to cadmium yellow, uh, yellow pale and then do the same thing. Next I have Indian yellow, uh, cadmium orange, uh, cadmium red, uh, permanent rose, magenta, transparent oxide red, cadmium, uh, cobalt blue, and ultramarine blue. As you can see it starts to turn greenish in here, and viridian. So you can see a range of colors. The point is we're trying to keep it uh, dominantly of the yellow ochre pale uh, feeling but as we add other colors, they are going to alter the hue. And as we add more whites, they're going to add the alter the values. Um, it was a, a very helpful exercise to see. Um, especially down here, we get a lot of beautiful neutral tints um, that are very nice. And um, the whole palette together, because everything's got yellow ochre pale in it, um, is very harmonious. Um, so I did this for about 12 different colors and mixed each of the colors with every other color and really got a good understanding of my paints. And um, the final product here is something that I've developed a tool for myself that I can keep in my studio. And that is a binder with all of the color charts in them. So you can see uh, if you're looking for a color you can peek in here and try and match up with uh, various combinations. And it's just really helpful in realizing the value of um, mixing the colors and what types of um, other colors they can create. So hope that's helpful. Again, all the information about this color study is posted on my blog, patfiorello.blogspot.com, for the month of July. Look in July Archives 2001. The first post is on July 1st, and the completing post today is July 31st. Thank you.